Hi guys, it's Lee, and in today's video I am going to show you how I use the app Checkout 51. Checkout 51 is right here, that little one that I've got put away in my couponing folder. Checkout 51 is a website um, that has a free app you can download, and once you've set yourself up an account with them, you are on your way to receiving cash back for grocery items. So, here's the app that I have uh, with the other ones that I like to use. I have a video on how to use Flip and Rebe, um, and I will make some more. And uh, all of these together really help save some money. So let's go into Checkout 51. What it is, is this... Um, you could do it either from your home computer on the website or on a mobile device uh, using their app. And they list each week a slew of offers. So it, the list goes on and on and on. But it's all grocery-related items. And they are neatly categorized into, for example, this section is popular. They've got pantry items. You've got... There's a lot of pantry this week. Um, dairy and refrigerated, frozen, personal care, and it goes on and on. And it's generally categorized somewhat like the grocery store. So, before I make my way to the grocery store, I always open up this app and check out, <laughs> no pun intended, um, what the week's offers are. So here you can see, um, I might see Hellman's products, $2 cash back. Well, um, I can always use mayonnaise, and I'm not personally particular to a brand, so I would click on that and see it's any variety, limit one. And any variety meaning, as you can see up here, um, Hellman's tends to make light, fat-free, with olive oil, that type of thing. So that's good to know that I, it can be any one of those. It doesn't specify a size. Um... The limit is one. The limit on these items will change, so always make sure you tap on it to see what your details are before you purchase the product. For example, I might also be buying cereal this week, and here it says buy two all brand cereal and receive a dollar cash back. Well, if I click on that one, Again, that's great. It's any variety, so any one of those. Or it's not specific to the picture, but they're just saying in general, any all-brand cereal. Um, and limit three. So it says buy two, so they obviously don't mean three boxes of cereal, but they're referring to redeeming the pair three times. Now, items must appear on the same receipt. What that means is on Monday you can't buy one box and on Tuesday buy a second and then try to get your $1.50 cash back by submitting both of those receipts. Um, the limit doesn't have to all be on one, but your pair does. So when I go through this and I determine what um, products, you know, might, I keep them in mind anyways when I'm at the grocery store. And when I get home, I can upload the receipt. So but just to show you a little further, there's so much here that you might normally buy. You know, and uh, for example, these are showing, but there's zero remaining. Because this app is getting very popular, and there's certain things where they just sort of have to... This doesn't happen often, but this must have been, I think, two weeks in a row they had this offer, and people must have went a little crazy for the respread. <laughs> now, I will explain later, pairing up, getting a cash back, uh, or a rebate, however you want to look at it, along with using a coupon, because then you're going to have double the savings. But for the purpose of this app, this is what I do. So after I've um, selected or I see what's on here and I go to the grocery store and I purchase some things, I can simply go into here and tap Upload Receipt. Now, for example, um, I bought 10, actually I'll go and show you, um, I bought these chocolate bars. It says buy two Cadbury Dairy Milk Marvelous Creations and you got a dollar cash back. 
So the limit was five. Now, you can see here, when I went to my grocery store, those uh, dairy milks were on for 50 cents each. So, I bought two of them five times, making that I purchased ten of these. You can see for five dollars, and plus tax. Now, I then, I've already done this, but I'm just going to show you, it does show I already claimed the five dollars. So essentially I got ten chocolate bars for free, or if you want to look at it, that I just had to pay the tax because I got my five dollars back. But if this was the first time I was submitting this receipt, I would hit upload receipt. Got it, let's go. And just for, you know, the purposes of showing you, you line it up, make sure you get the store in there, and you take the photo. Now, I wouldn't um, just say I was doing it finish, but when you're doing it for real, you just have to make sure that you can see the bottom of the receipt. Now here is where then you would check off what's on there. I can't because I've already redeemed the chocolate bars, but say this receipt was for I bought a mayonnaise, and it shows one, and it doesn't show you the um, plus sign is not enabled because the limit was one. So that's all I could do. But if I also got, say, four boxes of all brand cereal, I might click on that and then tap that up to I'm redeeming two of those. And at the end, I'd hit claim it, but I'm not going to since it's not uh, a real receipt. And then it would you would get a notification, and depending on how you have your setup, you might get an email that your receipt is being processed. Check out 51, and this isn't a sponsored video by any means. It's just my personal opinion that I've had a good experience with it, and I love Check Out 51. That when you submit that receipt, their agents are unbelievable at how quickly they process your receipts. And so it's nice because you might, I've had it like, 20 minutes later sometimes get an email that my receipt's been processed and my $5 for this, for example, was deposited you know, into my account. So what it is is all your personal information is in that little person there. Um, it would, you know, your name and your, the name is the name that the check is going to come in. So make sure you have your accurate information there. Now, once you redeem, so I've got $5 for that, and I've been doing this for a while now, so I have redeemed, or I mean cashed out more than once. But you just need to hit $20 in cash back offers, and then you can cash out and they mail you a check. Again, unbelievable with their timing, quick, easy, check comes in the mail, and then you can deposit it back into your bank account. So... Um, I've done that several times, never had a problem getting a check, always comes, but you could obviously leave it for more than the $20, it's just, that's the minimum. Now, here I'm just going to say, um, this star, just to explain that if I wanted to get an idea of I was going to get the mayonnaise, you know, I'm just thinking about it, I'm going to hit the star on that one, uh, I wanted to do the all brand. Maybe also I had seen down here, I like this Robin Hood quick bread. And it just kind of, if you're tapping what you're thinking about, it shows starred 450. So in my mind, I already know, based on maybe my grocery budget is whatever it is, but I already know I'm going to get 450 back. So it, it depends how you want to look at it. Either that you're reducing the price of those products by 450, so it's somewhat like using a coupon. Uh, or again, you know, like a mail-in rebates they used to do, or I guess they still do, but... <laughs> um, so it just gives you an idea there. And if I unstar them, then that goes back to zero. But it just gives you an idea of what your savings will be. Lastly, um, sometimes, they don't actually see it today though, sometimes they have a special section in the middle where... Uh, it might be like you get additional savings. So um, if they'd had, just for example, say this was the special you know, offer, uh, it's a theme. And one time in the summer, the theme was uh, a backyard barbecue and another time it was something else. So if the theme here was, you know, washing up nice, <laughs> then they might show a little symbol um, beside each of these products. And 
what it would be is that if you redeem, say, two or three or whatever the specifications are, if you redeem so many of those products within the week, you're going to get an additional dollar put into your account. So I hope that wasn't too confusing because it's not actually here, but just know that sometimes they actually do um, added bonuses, so your money adds up even faster. Uh, all of these items, too, are very often you will find coupons to go along with these. Um, I will do that in a separate video, like I said, combining the two for the best savings, but just keep that in mind because if you think that this app is going to save you money, uh, you can't imagine when you start combining it with a price matching and a coupon. <laughs> it brings it to a whole new level. So, um, overall, I love this app. I love how organized it is, how simple it is to use. And, I mean, again, I've cashed out several times and I've never had a problem. It's easy breezy. Send it. And, I mean, if I were you, whether you're on a budget, whether you're just maybe the main grocery person of your household, it's worth having on your phone or your iPad or even taking the time after a grocery trip to go down to your home computer and submit your receipts. Because, really, if you see, like, week by week these change and there's so many offers that I always think oh well I buy that I buy that and just to think now you know the the savings they add up quickly so again whether you're in college whether you're on a budget whether you neither and you just want to save a bit of money on our ever-growing grocery bills this app is one you should definitely download right away so if there's any questions or comments please leave them below and I hope you enjoyed this video thank you